We're learning Flutter and Flame by building a simple game. It's a horizontal scroller. Chips are appearing every six seconds. We're going to make the game more difficult as time progresses. In the main.dart file, we have a stopwatch from dart elapsed time. We're going to use the elapsed time as a trigger to spawn enemies more quickly. By having the airships, which is the enemy, spawn more quickly, but we can make the game more challenging as time progresses. To get the, the ships onto the screen, we're using a flame interval timer. So every six seconds, this thing is doing a tick. And the tick here, we are adding a single airship. We're going to change this. So in the gameplay screen here, we have the onload method right here. And we're adding the different parts of the game inside of this onload method. And this is the section where we are adding the ship in once every six seconds. So I'm going to create a method. And I will put the ship the code that adds a ship in, in this method so that we don't make the onload, the onload method itself too cluttered. So I'm going to change it from fat arrow to a normal method. Oops. And in here, which is going to set up a delay and then add a ship within the six second tick. Check for the elapsed time. I'm going to set up a variable here. Elapsed seconds equals game ref dots. I'm going to call it elapsed time dot elapsed dot in seconds. And we'll make it a double. So this elapsed time is a stopwatch. Perhaps I should have called it a stopwatch, but this is, we set this up, this elapsed time here. So we'll just double the number, number of ships if it hits 30 seconds. We're going to move this elapsed time here within the on tick. And we'll see whether it works. So for testing, I set the time to 10 seconds, I think. Looks like there's more ships coming out now. 
Okay, to help with the tutorial, I'm going to set the triggers pretty close together. So we'll have one at 20 and we'll launch the ship at two seconds into the tick. And we'll have one at 30. And then we'll launch it at four seconds into the tick. So there should be three ships coming out at 30 seconds. So the number of ships is increasing pretty rapidly. I'm not going to make it here. All right. You can still get pretty far. So we'll add another challenge in here at 40 seconds. So we'll go to the airship file here and there's an update method here that we are moving the ship horizontally, but we will put another check in here. GameRef dot elapsed time this which is our stopwatch elapsed dot in seconds is greater than let's go 40 and x is greater than the So if X is so if the ship is to the right of the crow, crow dot X, then we're gonna move the ship toward the crow. Or else we'll so we're looking to see the relationship of the ship to the crow. And if it's below the crow, we're going to bring it up. And you can tweak the speed here. So we're going to have to get to 40 seconds. I'm actually having problems testing this. So I'm going to set it to the trigger to 30. So the game should be pretty difficult by the time it gets to 30 seconds. In addition to the frequency that the ship is released at and the position the ship is released at, we could also adjust the speed of the ship. So uh, we could change this 100 to a, a higher number so the ship is moving faster as the game progresses. However, right now I'm actually having some problems getting past, let's say, you know, 30 to 40 seconds. So I think I'm going to leave the difficulty like this right now. You can adjust it uh, to suit your gameplay and have a great time playing your own game. Have a great day.